Okay, so we are about to start with our needling. So what are we going to do now? The first thing. So we have our customer. She's, you know, obviously protected. We don't have to worry too much about the eyes. You can cover them because I'm going to go very close to them. So I'm just going to leave them like that. The most important thing here is really you do the treatment properly. Let's just be honest. And then what we have to do is clear the skin. I clean the skin with, as I said, clean set. Uh, you can either use pre-injectable swaps for that, which are, you know, the ones that you, before you, you know, go for blood tests, they use, but it's a bit too dry for the skin. So I'm using that clean set. I really go over, make sure that you don't put anything else on the trolley. So trolley is absolutely empty. I only need my device, my tip, and my serum, and the two creams, nothing else, because this is going to be the whole area, you know, it's going to, you know, we have some blood in there. So we have to be very, very sure that, you know, make sure that everything is really clean. So, um, now, I'm wiping the skin, so make sure everywhere, really thoroughly, into the hairline, because I'm going to go very close. My gloves are changed as well, so I've changed before the needles, needling, <coughs> important, and then you can see a little bit here as well. I also have those two creams placed on here so I don't have to touch my creams like the you know the packaging. I've got this, everything is, has been cleansed before I actually use it and I would try not to touch the skin too much really. Yeah, so this is my tip, but I can use this container as like putting my either creams or actually my serum over there, but now I have it in the bottle, so that's fine. And I'm going to be placing my inside here. Usually I wouldn't do that on top of the client, it's just for you to see that. Mm -hmm. and it's perfectly fine. So we have from 0 0.1 to 0 to 2 millimeters. You can see that 2 millimeters into the skin. So for the face usually we will use 0 0.5. Ready? Yes. So the serum, like the, the one I'm using is actually special for pigmentation and it's meant to be used during the needling so yeah during the needling it has transonic acid which is actually amazing for pigmentation so i'm starting now do you feel any feeling okay. amazing so i can already see even on not on 0 0.2 millimeters, like it's so superficial, I can already see bleeding a little bit. Uh, usually, we wouldn't mention this in front of the client. Obviously, Carly is acting as my model today, so she doesn't mind. It's just literally tiny little dots. Um, yeah, lovely, amazing. Anyway, we don't have to see like walls of bleeding to really have amazing results. We can have amazing results with just a couple of passes. So it's very individual how many passes you will do per customer. Very, very individual. You can do hashtag, sideways, do this as well. Quite good to have hashtag. You know, you, you really cover the area very thoroughly. Carly, how do you feel? Is it okay? You can see amazing reaction. I just love that redness actually. I've been always loving the microneedling. It was one of my first aesthetic treatments that actually I did a lot of, um, like a huge project on, which is so... I just really love the, the treatment. Great, so we can just turn a bit on the side and then we will be just doing this side now.
So let me start with the other side. I'll just little bit like that. So I'm gonna go through this area. Have my serum with me. Mm -hmm. So still I'm using 0.3 to 4 here now. And then I'll see how it goes down. Let's do like a snake kind of thing. So up and down, back and forward is really the best, the best um, technique. I'm not fan of the circle movements. Um, it was quite old technique, and they just discovered that it's not as good as the vertical and horizontal kind of alternation movements. So it's very, very good for the results. It too painful? It's no, it's just a bit of like it's for you to kind of like calm yourself and like yeah. a, take the yeah, take it as a feeling, but yeah. it's not bad at all. No, no, perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit more here. Okay. It's like 0 0.4, 3 3.54. It's very sensitive area, usually here. skin it's very important to wipe it wipe it with the same solution just because you know um just to prevent any infections and you know with the same solutions when it's left it's lovely and then if you know i've really done my best for that um, you can see the skin is lovely kind of a red color How do you feel? Sore. Yes, yeah, sore. Yeah, a little bit sore. A little yeah. bit sore. Not too, not too much. So I will. You might do a bit more now. It's a bit brown color, which is fine. It's not a problem. It's important to, yeah. I mean, you can apply any serum here. You can apply hyaluronic acid. You can apply anything after the treatment. We can just simply use the, the cream that is, you know, good for healing. Yeah, it's just in my case, I'm gonna be using that one. But you can do, apply anything really. 
which is meant to be used for after needling. Some kind of, it depends kind of what are you addressing mainly. Is it tingling? Um, a little bit, but it's okay. Yeah, I don't need to put much of that under the eyes. Um, it's okay, I can avoid because obviously they are different. But we will use now, so I'm fine with my serum, we can just use my creams. So the special gel, which is for uh, literally, um, I usually do that. So the special gel for to help with healing. So we can apply exactly the same um, products after the actual um, skin peeling. But obviously because we did needling after, so we apply everything after the actual needling. So it's good to I can up here. Um, it's good to use products or so kind of like really apply products on the skin to be a bit richer now because you know obviously we want the skin to heal quite um, healthy. This is my sunscreen now. She has quite dry skin so um, dehydrated and as it is called, gonna all like kind of be absorbed very very quickly. This is great. <clears throat> is it sore now, Carly? It's still a bit, yeah. That's very it's normal. Sore, yeah, very normal, no problem. I mean anyway we've done like strong treatment and then <laughs> I can see that you know the results you know, they <laughs> will be good so it's lovely. Okay, so we finished with the treatment. As I said, I have combined skin peeling using the Radiance Peel on Caroly for about 10 minutes and then a micro needling. So let me know, Caroly, how do you feel? I feel really good. There's a definitely like a tingling sensation, but overall I can feel like the tightness already happening. Yeah. So yes. And glow it as and, well. Yeah. Because obviously we've removed some already some kind of dead cells on the surface, like from the surface of the skin. So you know it's it's good. It looks very, very healthy, kind of like firma. Yeah, that's good. So very important now. I'm gonna show Carly how she looks actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so glowy. It is glowy, yeah. That's it's a little bit red though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. But that's yeah, obviously it's, it's normal. It's, it's very normal. But very glowy. Already it's got the tightness. Absolutely, wow. and you can see little red dots. This is very yeah, normal. That's gonna go very yeah. like maybe not literally a few days time. You won't have anything, and you're just gonna peel. So the skin will be peeling. Wow, I love um, that. Yeah, it's really good. And it's gonna have new baby skin underneath. So very important from now on to look after your skin. So I'm gonna give her proper aftercare advice. Okay, so very important. First of all, protect yourself from sun. So it's good like when it's outside, it's sunny. So no direct sunlight on the skin. So it's good to wear hats. You know, with vaser, always sunscreen as be at like at least 30. Uh, I would always advise you to apply makeup but not next few days. After a week when the skin is peeled, it's just better for protection because we want makeup usually also, of course good makeup just to protect from free radicals. Yeah so this is like something you obviously in books usually say no makeup. Yes not makeup for a few days but it's good to apply a little bit on just to protect because you know the skin when it's too bare you know left like naked on outside you know that pollution is really horrible for the skin it's not good at all so it's good little bit of makeup good foundation on daily basis once the skin is pe has peeled and you don't have that kind of like new skin to protect it further always sunscreen very important in the morning i would advise you to apply um, um antioxidant serum very important like vitamin c ferulic acid you know something like antioxidant I should say antioxidant on the on the packaging Carly also going to show us picture day by day how the skin looks, like small videos of all the angles so you, we can see how the skin recovers. That's it more or less. Carly, do you have Amazing. questions? No, I'm really, really happy though already with the results. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and I'll see you in my classes. Thank you. Okay. So I have completed my treatment and now I would like to show you how to dispose your waste or the rubbish after the treatment. So one of the quite important parts. So we finish now with the treatment and here I have just for the video, uh, show, I want to show you the two bins I'm going to be using. 
after those type of treatments, especially after needling. So I've got my medical bin or um, a medical unit, we also call it. It's yellow color uh, and it's a bit bigger because obviously it can contain more rubbish. And then I also have here my sharps bin. So the medical one will have anything with body, consisting of body fluids. That can be blood or anything with plasma, anything that we really um, go in and pierce the skin and, you know, really go under the skin, under the epidermis. So we reach the dermis. So anything with body fluids will go here. Anything sharp will go here. So my needle from the needling treatment, from my pen, will go in the actual... Um, sharps so i'm just gonna close it like this this is the t and i will just unscroll that's it so this is goes here so you can see that good and then the rest i will so i can just remove that and then i'm going to just do this and as you can see that i actually have my gloves so uh perfectly fine i mean i haven't really touched the pen to be honest i have only worked with that hand so i've been really you know kind of working quite clean but I have, you know, to be more careful. So this is going to go into the medical unit. But before that, I wanted to um, explain something. On top of my trolley, when I do treatments like that, I make sure that I only use items that are only specifically for that treatment. So for example, um, if I do needling, I wouldn't have my creams on top of it. I wouldn't have anything else. It's just going to be my wipes, my disposable stuff, like wipes, tissues, any of that, you know, some cotton buds, for example, my creams were here. So just anything that I'm going to be using for the treatment. So this is here now. So that thing is totally disposable and I need to make sure that I put it in my medical bin. Very important. So what I usually will do is just going to wrap it like this because this is my, you know, um, it doesn't penetrate, doesn't go on the trolley. So I'll just do that. And this is basically what I've used for during my treatment. And I will totally you know um put everything in the medical unit because these things consist of like whatever was on top of the trolley consists of body fluids it might be they might not be really there but we have to make sure that everything is sterile here because when we have a lot of blood when we're working with blood plasma or body fluids also there are like blood borne viruses like hiv hepatitis b c and also Ebola um, virus. So they are very, like they are transmitted through through blood. So it's very important to keep our um, environment, like what where we work or like working area, very stereo. So like really, really important. So we'll do that and you know, I'll just dispose that as well. So this is like one of the things that so important for when we are dealing with those type of treatments. And I want you to also be able to uh, dispose your rubbish the same way.